It's like Rodrigo and Gabriella, but without, yeah, but, but without the Rodrigo without the talent. Or Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Acoustic Parody. So I am Mick. I'm Pete. Uh, this is Anderton TV, and um, we're doing acoustic guitars yep. for you. And uh, we thought we were going to look at some faiths. Yes. So uh, what do we know about faith? Um, a brand created in Britain, ooh, must be it's over 10 years ago. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and Faith kind of is one of the is one of the very few brands that's kind of been created from new, um, come out of nowhere, and been immensely successful. And I think it's fair to say that Faith offer very very well spec'd, brilliantly priced uh, acoustic and electroacoustic guitars. I don't yeah. think I, it would be hard to find anyone to disagree with that. Exactly. Yeah. These two are both under eight hundred quid. Yes. And which is you get a lot of guitar for your money. You know what I mean. Uh, if, what you what what so these two we we know that you out there like the comparison videos yes so we thought we were going to do another comparison video uh, which is these two basically yes I'm just going to so, compare compare this cup of coffee to the to, last to one the, let me just compare my Anderson's mug here oh I didn't realize are we actually yeah. plugging the mugs can can people yeah. buy these well they will be able to very yeah. shortly if you if you fancy hmm. like Wayne's will um, right. <laughs> Time. Yeah, look at my hair. Hey, um, anyway. anyway, so we got a, a gloss finished yes. guitar. Uh, look at this. We'll come, on, we'll come on to that in a second. It's, oh, sorry. So the body shape <laughs> is called Venus, which means a kind of auditorium yeah. getaway. Yeah. So it's a mid sized guitar. Although, you know, it's not a mid sized guitar in the Martin sense, it's a little bit deeper. Uh, it's a good compromise, actually, of, uh, of a big guitar and a smaller guitar. Yeah. I guess you would it's, call it... It sits, an, it sits well, doesn't it? An all-rounder. An all-rounder. Uh, right, so this so. is the High Gloss Venus. Yeah. Which means... Which means... Solid rosewood back and sides, nice. which is very unusual at this price, which is whatever it is. We can, uh, uh, le less, than, less, less than 800 quid, yeah. I believe. Um, so solid rosewood back and sides, yeah. solid Engelman, Engelman spruce, spruce again. Which is what you get on a John Mayer signature. Yeah, Engelman, I Engelman is generally considered to be an upgrade over Sitka. It's not always the case because it, a lot of it's down to what's graded and how they choose it and everything. Yeah. But, you know, Engelman's if you, nice. If it says Engelman there, you would. You Don't would, you get would. Engelman confused with German or European spruce. It's a different species. Yes, loads anyway. of different spruce tops. We won't go there. Same here, <laughs> Engelman spruce top. This one's got some bear clawing. Oh, I love that. See, I like that because that means that it's an individual piece of. Guitar, yeah. a piece of wood you've got, you know. Yeah. Some no, people no, like it, some people like exactly. it. Exactly, it's it's like Marmite, which I don't like. I like it. <laughs> um, so this one has a uh, semi matte finished solid yeah, well, mahogany quite... back and sides. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mahogany. So, so it's like you know, it's, it's um, like the eighteen. Yeah. So series. it's cl it's classic. Yeah. Uh, mahogany was always considered to be like the kind of lesser tone wood to rosewood, but I don't think it's the case. They sound different. Yeah. Uh, one tended to cost a lot more than the other, but anyway, yeah. so solid, uh, semi-matte finished, I don't know if they call it semi-matte or semi-gloss. Or satin. Or yeah, satin. It's like, it's, satin? but it's, yeah, satin I think would do. Yeah. Um, mahogany. The next are the same, aren't they? Yeah. Um, How about the fingerboards? What have we got there? We've got some... Uh, Macassa ebony all round. Macassa ebony. So, so, and... All oh, right. okay. That, for that price, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. those are high spec woods for... For that kind of price, yeah. Uh, also, just finally on the on the fit and finish, solid maple binding, which is quite pretty. Yeah, it looks pretty, doesn't it? And, and, uh, the, and the and the back here as well. You know, I, this this little wedge here, 
that, looked very nice to me, but that looks not like a wedge. it's that's, not a wedge. It's no. just the wood, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just, a, just a bit of figuring in the rosewood. I like that. Beautiful. That is really, really cool. Yep. Um, and you got your swipe buttons there. You also have a little faith. Yeah, um, same same so pickup in both guitars. It is called, and I'm referring to the notes here. Shadow Nano Flex pickup, which yeah. sits under there, uh, and a performer preamp and tuner. So a tuner, bass, treble, phase, volume. Yeah. Battery on the top, which is quite handy. I'll be able to get a close up on that, but so you can just pop the battery out there. You don't have to. Yeah. As I say, be a gynecologist to. Uh, to change the battery in one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, the tuner mutes when you turn it on, so it's just really handy to have it to yeah. have it on board. Yeah. Right, so, so we are comparing these two. So we, what we've done what we've done in the past is uh, we've compared the microphone sound. So we're using Rode NT5 small diaphragm condensers, which are kind of high performing, cost effective small diaphragm condensers. Yeah. To get that sort of sound off in the room, you know, we talked about in previous videos as well that you could, you know, some videos are made to just the guitar sounds nice, make it sound really nice, mic it up with those different microphones. Overproduced. Yeah, produced, you know, so it's, and we're just trying to capture the, the kind of what they kind of sound like. Something here, close to look. the natural sound of the guitar, which is yeah. always difficult. Difficult. But lest we, lest we get into that. Yeah, okay. On the subject of which, if you want to comment about what you want to see, in acoustic guitar features, then please let us know. Yeah, let us know. Meantime. We are happy. Meantime, so I'm going to just play uh, a few chords on this. Uh, I've, got a, I've got a nylon one mil Dunlop pick, because I like it. It's nice and the tone of the pick is nice and uh, soft and round. Yeah, for anyone who, who, who doesn't know, and I'm sure you will do, your choice of plectrum makes a huge difference to huge difference. how the acoustic guitar sounds. Yeah. So, Actually, uh, I think we should do a video on plectrums. Just a whole video on plectrums. Let's point. do it. Anyway, so I'm going to play a little bit here, and what you're going to hear is a microphone first, then the internals, and then the blend of the two. And then we'll stick to the blend of the two in the rest of the videos, however, you know, I'll make it sound nice for you. Right, here we go. So I, I, I can hear now, I can hear because the guitar's facing away from me, I can definitely hear, sorry, I was just laughing a minute ago, so my eyes still watering, because it was very funny. Anyway, so I can hear that the, the mahogany to me has got a deeper, rounder sound. And I can hear that from that guitar, where this to me sounds like it's lacquered guitar and it's a brighter tone. Do you get the same? Yeah, I, um, we shouldn't really get into generalizations. Uh, so let's talk about these two guitars specifically. I think you're right. Well, I think I am more... talking about these two. Not, it's not. Yeah, it's not a, yeah, yeah. No, I'm yeah. sorry. Listening to well, me there, I was tempted to get into generalizations. Yeah, and I do. Not, well, I, I must say, do. I was thinking but, that as well. Yes. But anyway, Zing. Yeah. Just um, play a play an E major chord, Pete. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's the Dania thing, major. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so there's more zing off the top of that. Yeah. This one has more, I would say, it's got a very different mid range character and a less obvious bass. I don't think there's less bass. No. It's less obvious because yeah. that one is slightly more mid scoopier. 
which is what you'd expect Mint for lacquer. Scoopier. Yeah, there's, there's... I know what you mean, though. Yeah. Is that the word? Scoopier. Scoopy. Scoopier do what? A puppy or scoopier. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. So, well, we don't we don't need words because you've got sound. So yeah, exactly. You, you can tell... No words, sound just sound. Yeah, yeah. What about some finger picking, then? Okay. So, you know, I don't know. Let's just maybe... Something like that. Yeah, there's more, there's more... I mean this, to use a generalisation, it sounds bluesier to me. It does, so yeah. So if you were going to... Have you use a slightly harder pick? Yeah. Have you got a harder pick to hand? I have. I've got one of these little uh, Altex Jazz 3s. If you do What's like on? a... Something that's, ah. you know, just a bluesy thing. Okay. Forgive the kind of. But no, we have to dig into them to kind of find out where they go. Yeah, if you if you want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's great, and you could definitely hear this is much more bright to me, not where I'm sitting anyway, and it probably lends itself more to a little bit. I don't know, man. You know. Well, what I, mean? I but think there's a couple of applications that spring to mind to me. One is the strumming, which you've already heard. It just perhaps is a slightly sweeter strummer if you wanted it to sit nicely in a track. Yeah. Get, have you got a super thin pick? Uh, it's super thin. Well, I've got a... Well, a thinish. I've got a 73, so an Altex, which is... Oh, you've got one that's very thin there. Yeah. Um, this is 73, Altex. But again, Altex is different from nylon, because Altex is... Well, go, use this one. Okay, but that... No, this is... Um, oh, use that one. Yeah, okay. So that one is a... Uh, yeah, don't cellular. worry about that. down to a deep so and just play um play like a T chord without the top top note
crazy how much difference there is where you strum the string, you know, uh, the strings. It's got a great range. Yeah, I think the reason I asked uh, Pete to do that is because sometimes with um, with a bigger bodied Rosewood guitar, if you drop the uh, E down to D, it can start to get a little bit confused. But both of these guitars have great clarity, which I think says a lot for the sort of body design. And I guess we should mention um, Patrick Eggel, Patrick James Eggel, who's uh, very well known in British guitar building circles, in fact, in world guitar building circles. Yeah. Um, he has a quite heavy hand in the design of Faith Acoustic Guitars. Yeah. He makes high-end guitars under his own name, but he yeah. also lends his design experience to the to the Faith. So what is he done? Well. He's tweaked the, the bracing design, which obviously is critically important in acoustic guitar. How that which is inside on the. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry if this is like way too simplistic, but at, in essence, acoustic guitar's got a big X brace that kind of is is the main structural integrity under the top and yeah. how stiff you make that X brace it's also got some other braces in there for stiffness yeah and whether you you scallop it you but you cut out in the middle or all of these different things that you yeah know. the guitar sounds best when there's minimal bracing because it can vibrate more yeah however of course if you brace it too lightly the whole thing is going to explode so it's good. The, <laughs> yeah exactly the, the, the job of acoustic guitar designers since the since steel strings so since like the 19 late 1910s yeah, yeah. into the 20s into yeah. the 30s onto the 40s has been yeah. to design a guitar that's got great structural integrity but that also sounds good anyway blah 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 so pat lends patrick eggle lends his skill to that he also has a kind of hybrid bolt neck design okay yeah um, which is a way of attaching the neck uh, which is i'm just good for sound because i was looking at yours here and, and it's like layers and that Okay, well, that kind of thing. maybe that's, um, maybe that's worth explaining. When you as you as you come down from like two and a half grand in an acoustic guitar, yeah. Once you start getting down, you've got to start making a few compromises. Yeah. One is using less bits of wood. So if you make on a very very high end guitar, the whole headstock, neck, and heel will be made out of one piece of wood. Yeah. And Just not. Sort of Aside from the environmental effect of doing that, because you lose there's a, lot of, there's a big piece of wood, you lose a lot of. Yeah. So yeah. the heel is stacked in separate pieces, yeah. and the headstock is scarfed on yeah. um, back and here, just under the same. That's the frame. same on on this one here. So, yeah. and that's you know that's just a more cost-effective way to yeah. build them. Uh, to wit, we should play a bit more, should we? We should really play a bit more, shouldn't we? So how about this? Some good chords, open chords, always nice on the acoustic guitar.
So there you go, guys. The Faith Gloss Venus. High Gloss Venus. High Gloss Venus. <laughs> <laughs> and Faith Natural Venus. Exactly. I'm really. This is the first time I actually play some Faith guitars because I've always seen them in the shop and thought, okay, they look good, but never really had them in. <laughs> so uh, this is a great comparison between these two. Right, guys. Okay. Well, this was Acoustic Guitar Paradiso or Acoustic Paradiso. Something like that, Custer Paradiso. You're still wearing the shirts, so you know, still Paradiso. But I was Pete. I was Mick. We'll see you next time. Cheerio. Bye. I always like a G on the bottom of a C chord. That's nice, it fills it up, doesn't it? Yeah, you know what I can hear from where I'm sitting? You know, it's difficult for me to hear because his sound hole is po pointing away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha.